Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Angel Souls. Welcome to your weekly Angel Oracle card reading for the week beginning January 27th. Um, this week, I'm going to go back and I'm going to start using this deck a little bit more. This is the uh, Angel Chatter deck by Christine Alexandria. Because I think we need to get back to our souls a little bit, we need to get back into some deeper messages. Alright? So if you got stuff that's like, am I going to get a job? What's happening with the relationship? We need to go back to our souls. Okay? Now I'm sitting next to my window. I I was hoping you'd be able to see it. It's snowing lightly and it is so pretty out there. <laughs> so um, I was trying to pick that up, but I don't, I don't think you can see it. But anyway, just know that it's snowing and it looks majestic. I don't think I want to go out and play in it because I think it's like 10 degrees out or something crazy. But let's see what we have for the coming week. All right. First card up we have. It's Archangel Raphael. Now, Raphael's been coming, at least for me, he's been coming around quite a bit. Uh, and the card says healing. And it says, I send you healing always and in all ways. This might be why um, I was really drawn to this deck. I think everybody needs to hit this place of pause. And um, we're getting so wound up in the details of our life, like we've talked about before. But now it's time to really just come back within yourself, heal so that you can move on well informed <laughs> and you're in the right vibration to make the best decisions for yourself. Okay? Next card up we have it's Shamwe, excuse me, Shamuel. And it's self-love. It says, be selfish, love yourself above all others. Again, this is about self-care this week. You know, the healing, the self-care. It, it's a it's the whole they're just saying yes, just Take it easy this week, okay? You know, you remember, you know, at the top of the month, it was all about retreat, figure out what you really want to do before you go barreling forward, okay? And we said in the February monthlies that Mercury is going to be going retrograde. So just get ready for it, people, because the first whole, like, I think like six months of this year, it's going to be like we're moving through mud, okay? So I think... There's all kinds of stuff going retrograde <laughs> for the first half of this year. So just be patient. Take this time, especially in this coming week, to really care for yourself. And I'm getting that tingling in my face again. Sorry. <laughs> if you're wondering, like, why is she scratching at her face? I, whenever I do these readings, my, my nose starts to tingle, my, my forehead, my, my cheeks, uh, it starts to itch. Anyway, angel kisses, right? Anyway, so, so far it is all about healing really attack the things instead of going outward and trying to push forward in some other area of your life use this as a time to start looking back a little bit what are the things that you left behind that you covered up and you never thought about again those are the things that you have to go back and revisit it's going to be painful okay that's why that self-care card is coming up be good to yourself don't let yourself get too stressed out and deal with the stuff that you was hoping was just going to go away. <laughs> it doesn't, okay? Just by giving it your attention a little bit and in a healthy manner, it already starts the process of healing, okay? Next card up, we have Archangel Ariel. It says, trust. Trust that all is well. Open your heart to receive this inner knowing. Okay. This Again, this is why we're having to stop and reevaluate because... Let me just tune in here. <laughs> They're saying trust us, as in trust the angels. Um, okay, some of you out there are not following the guidance that they're giving you, um, or you're second-guessing the guidance that you're getting, and you're thinking, oh, well, it would be nice to be able to take care of myself in this coming week, but I have so many responsibilities, okay? I have too many people depending on me. I have to get out there. I have to push, push, push. If you do that, just know that... <sighs> The universe will find a way to slow you down if you don't do it of your own accord. <laughs> that could be, not, not that you would ex actually have an accident or something like that, but if you're rushing along, you could trip and hurt yourself, or you could get sick, or, you know, you just got to, like, trust what they're saying. That's, that's what they're asking you to do. So, I'm like, even me, I'm, like, right now feeling like I want to take the reading this way, and they're pulling me back this way. So uh, even I'm in the in-between place. So I'm right there with you guys. Next card. It's Gabriel. Manifest. This is why they're getting us to stop, heal, and get ready to move forward. Okay? Because 
everything that you put your attention on manifests, right? So if you're putting your attention on stress and not taking care of yourself, you're going to get more stress. All right. So the card says inspiration is the source of all manifestation. What are your heart's inspirations? This is asking you to clear your channels this week. Okay. We were talking in the January monthlies, I believe, that Metatron was around and waiting for people to get in a nice peaceful place so that they can give them the download. A lot of people got the, um, the Metatron card that said wisdom. Okay. It's time. It's here. A lot of you have already been getting this. You know, you've been emailing me and telling me about the, uh, the tingling in your scalp or the ringing in your ears. Yes, those are all downloads. Okay. <laughs> so let me just tune in here. Okay. It's okay. So towards the end of the week, next week, we start feeling the loving vibration, even of February coming in. Okay. And Venus goes direct. At, I think at the end of this week. Yeah, because it goes into February 2nd. So you're going to start feeling probably more attractive. <laughs> you, you know, you might have been a little hard on yourself. Again, going back to that self-love and that self-care. You might have had some old um, emotional things come up while Venus has been retrograde. That's the healing, okay? And because things have been so rotten maybe in the emotions department, we've allowed ourselves to tune out the messages that have been coming in. That's why the angels are saying, trust us, we know what we're doing, okay? We have a better view of your life and the energies than you do. So you could take the hard way or you can listen to us and just take the, the path that we're guiding you towards. Let me just see if there's anything else. They're saying payoff. There's a big payoff for all the work that you've done. Now, if you're somebody who, and, and you know, there's a really incredible range of audience people who tune in here. So they go from hardly ever listen to a horoscope all the way to, you know, very enlightened. Okay. So it's difficult to speak to everybody, but if you're one of the people who, you know, you're just getting started on your awakening and all this stuff sounds a little like, even if you're still listening to this, okay? Let this be the week that you start a meditation practice. Get serious about it, okay? And I was listening to uh, Deborah King last night um, doing some of her seminars, and she said something really profound, and I want to pass it along to you. She said, don't try to make anything happen in your meditations. Meditating is supposed to open your mind so that the great experiences happen outside of your meditation. And it's so simplistic, and you would just take that for granted, but guess what? I sit and meditate, and I wait for an experience, right? Because I'm an angel medium, so I wait for the angels to come in. I'm trying really hard to hear a message that's, that's you know, that they're trying to give me. And I just felt like that was kind of had like a, well, duh, kind of moment. So as you guys get more into your meditation practice, or as you begin one, or maybe you're shifting gears and you're trying to, um, trying a different style of meditation. Just remember that meditation is just for clearing your channels. Okay, it keeps you open. It keeps your chakras open at a healthy, safe level so that the messages can come in and you'll get your downloads in this week, guys. But be kind to yourself and others. Okay, and it's okay. You're, you're getting the green light from the angels this week to be a little selfish. Okay, so Trust them. They know what they're talking about. <laughs> Have a good week, everybody. I'm sending you all my love. Take care.